Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about a powerful technique in many parts of the S3 ArcGIS platform, and that is blend modes. Now, in many maps, the way in which map layers are displayed in relationship to one another is critical to understanding the map's message and uncovering patterns and insights in the data. Because layers are drawn on top of each other, the whole layering idea in a GIS, the layers at the bottom are oftentimes hidden under those closer to the top. Now, you can adjust the transparency or opacity of the layers to help you understand the map's appearance and understand the resource relationships, but sometimes that doesn't quite do it because it might focus on a layer you don't want to focus on or it might hide all of them in the transparency. So blend modes actually work with the individual pixels on your maps, kind of like you experience with Photoshop or Illustrator or some non-GIS tool. So for example, I'm doing here blending with population density and wildfire burn area. So you can really see that the situation that's serious between, wow, population density and wildfires. For example, multiply emphasizes the darkest parts of overlapping layers by multiplying the colors of the top layer and the background layer. And there's color burn, there's lighter, darker. I encourage you to experiment with these blend modes. For example, crops and landforms, and in this case, wildfire and population density. So you can really pick out patterns and relationships in your data. Thanks.